Hello, and welcome back for more Fallout 3, where you joined me and Liberty here in Greyditch. Last time, we finished exploring Seward Square, and returned home for a minute, and came down here to have a check-in on Brian Wilkes, and found he's having a bit of a fire ramp problem. So today, we're going to carry on with the quest those, and put an end to this mess. Uh, the first thing Brian had asked us to do was to go and check on his father and his house over here. So we'll just jog down the street and do that. Got something's attention already. Oh, there you are. Right, barely even damaged us there. Nice. Okay, and here's the Wilkes residence. Yeah, as soon as we walk in, we're told to deliver the bad news to Brian Wilkes. Yeah, here's Fred Wilkes on the floor. He has a shack key. We'll be needing that. A few dead fire ants around. Let's see if there's anything useful in here. Yeah, Chinese assault rifle. We'll have that. Some magnum rounds. Assault rifle rounds. Nice. Think any of those are worth it? The bathroom, or the first aid pack with a bobby pin of happiness. Here in uh, Brian, I guess his father's room. Another ammo box. Thirty-two rounds, more thirty-two rounds of a thirty-two pistol. Um, hiding anything under the teddy bear box? No. All right. Something on top of it. Huh. What's that? Alright, that's just a small ruined book. Thought they might have been sneaky with the skill book there. Kitchen. Nothing particularly useful. Okay. Back out front. We're reporting back to Brian. Let's check out Wesco's shack here now that we have the key for the door. And inside, let's see, we have a hollow tape on the table with Dr. Lesko's password reporting. This could be the fifth time I've forgotten the code to my desktop terminal. I really must learn to be more organized. The password for my terminal is Formesidai. How hard could that be for me to remember? Note to self, destroy this holotape as soon as move to new lab is complete. Maybe, maybe not the brightest of scientists here, but let's see what's on his terminal. Dr. Weston Lesko, private, please do not access without permission. Activate science robot. Nope, the pod is empty. Science robot command input. Robot out of range. And personal notes. Where did I go wrong? Batch A27 is a complete failure. I must return to my original formulas and begin the process all over again. Perhaps the pressure of working in these conditions without proper laboratory equipment is to blame. Perhaps I simply didn't splice the correct genetic instructions, or perhaps I am fatigued. Whatever the case may be, A27 is proving to be a disaster. I must introduce a new formula soon. I may not be alive to see my hypothesis come to fruition. Ample location discovered. I found the perfect specimen for my experiments inside Marigold Station. I've set up shop underground for now while I prepare the experiment. All I need is a bit of last-minute programming on my robot, and we'll be ready to perform the delicate injections. Soon, I'll prove to everyone that my formula is a viable alternative to the destruction of these misunderstood beings. And dangers. I realize the dangers involved in tampering with nature. I've heard the rhetoric and the hoopla about playing God. However, I am determined to reduce these poor things back to their original state when they were harmless. Only through genetic recoding is this possible. All that is needed is a proper test subject. 
My search continues as I tweak the formula. Back in Hufandi's hiding in Marigold Station, having conducting genetic experiments on these ants. Nice. Back outside. And before going over and talking to Brian Wilkes, we'll run across the street to um, the neighbors here, Brandis's, and look around their house. Cigarettes. Oh, more bobby pins. All right, we're stocking up now. Baseball bat there. More ruin bolts. In the kitchen. Bathroom. Another first aid pack. And upstairs. Computer terminal. Some enclave radio. We can turn that off. Suitcase, a hard locked foot locker. Yeah, we should be able to pick that. Still need our suit. We'll put it on anyway. Utility jumpsuit. A little too far. There. These hard ones are uh, a little hard. A few missiles. And a not too bad missile launcher. I don't think we need it though. Okay, and let's see what's on uh, William Brandis's terminal. Remember, when Brian said uh, it was a little scary. Let's see what's on here. That's easy lock. On the jumpsuit anyway. Lab uniform. Rather, and I hope this is easier than the lockpick. Oh, not too many words. So we will start locked. Three letters. Okay, thought it was passed. And in here we have a bunch of personal notes. Reverse chronological would appear, so we'll start at the bottom, October 2nd, 2276. I finally found a quiet place for my family. We've been running from one settlement to the next, just trying to keep out of sight. Now that I'm on the other coast, I feel much safer. The family across the way from us seems pretty decent. Their kid, Brian, likes to play with my son, which is great. It's hard for Will to make friends because we haven't stayed in one place long enough. Maybe we can finally put down some roots here in Grey Ditch. And October 30th, 2276, end of the month. I was scavenging some of the nearby buildings for junk to sell and came across a working radio. No sooner did I turn it on than I heard the familiar patriotic anthems they used to play whenever Richardson would give a speech. But this was different. Who the hell was President Eden? When did that happen? Are they on this coast too? Most importantly, will they come looking for me? I hope this journey wasn't a huge mistake. A couple weeks later, November 15th. Some scientist named Lesko moved in with the Wilkes family across the street. They are helping him make some sort of a structure on the old lot near the diner. Lesko offered to pay me caps if I helped, but I declined. I don't know who he's working for, but I don't think they're still looking for me. Our supplies are running low, and I need to begin foraging for food and some better drinking water. I'd have an easier time if it wasn't for the damn ants. I swear they have a nest around here somewhere. And then we skip ahead a few months, late February 2277. These ants are becoming a real pain in the ass, so much so that I had to take a trip to Megaton and buy a better gun to protect my family. It cost me a small fortune. I had to trade every bit of ant meat I had collected, but it was worth it. 
I'm teaching Frank and Sheila to use it just in case something happens to me. If one of you two are reading this and I'm gone, I keep the gun in the kitchen behind the old fridge. And if you look for that. A uh, month later, April 2nd, 2277. You're going to have to find a better way to protect Sheila and Will from those ants. Ever since Lesko came to town, I'm certain they're getting more and more aggressive. Wasteland ants are bad enough, but at least you can run away from them. These would seem to pursue you to the ends of the earth if they could. Call me crazy, but I swear I saw one start a fire the other day. I don't know how this could be happening. I decided to dig up my old sidearm and keep it hidden on me at all times. If those things get too close, I'll blast the antenna right off their ugly heads. We have about another two months to mid-June. I can't believe I went through all that trouble to leave Navarro and make my way across the country just to get stuck in this place. I'll be damned if I'm going to die here. Now that we're cut off from Lesko and Wilkes, I think we're on our own. Damn ants keep trying to find a way to get inside the house. Even as I'm typing this, I can hear them scraping the walls looking for a way through. I don't know how much longer we can last. All right. There's William Brandis' terminal. We'll go find the gun. But apparently he was former Enclave, West Coast, Navarro base. Um, Richardson was president at the time. Fallout 2. We traveled across country just to find them here in the capital. Yeah, let's go find Brian and tell him the sad news. This way. It's also got the dark on us. Whoa. Sure is hot in here. Brian? Come on, tell me already. Well, I think I have some bad news for you. Oh no. What happened? <laughs> sorry, kid. Your old man is ant food. Now, Brian, I'm sorry, but your father is dead. He's... He's dead? I guess I already knew. Besides, I'm too tired to cry anymore. Um, why don't you just forget about it and clear on out of here? Look, my dad used to always say, you can do whatever you want in life, but the family comes first. If I left now, I'd just be running away. I can't do that. I owe him. All right, well, I'll stop whatever started this, I promise you. You gotta stop it, so this can't happen to anyone else's family ever again. I wish I had met you a long time ago. And then maybe my dad would still be alive. Thanks for doing all this. I'm feeling better now that you're here. Okay, well, I guess we have to go. Please be careful. I don't want you to die either. Uh, we'll be fine. We have to head over to Marigold Station. Um, there's a few hollowed out buildings around here. With some stuff to look for if you wanted to. Earlier in the game, it might be worth it. Right now, I'm not gonna take the time. Head on over to the metro tunnel. Oh, did not see him. A little more cautious, there's another one up ahead. And we're still in the vault lab uniform, of all things. Change your battle armor back on. Oh, we got a frenzied. Nice. Just roast each other for a moment. Oh, the little one went down pretty quickly. Oh, he might be going after a closer ant instead of us. Maybe not. There's our metro station. We can't get up on the curb. Okay. Is there any nectar in 
this guy. Yeah, not worried about you. All right. Let's head inside. Get out of the streets. All right, open gate to Marigold Station. Quantum in that one. Nice. Okay, one right at the start. Not anymore. Another one ahead. On. Another metro map. Here's Falls Church. Kind of our own, our own little splintered line here. Marigold Falls Church. Franklin. Yeah. Doesn't connect with the other metro tunnels. There's a door on the side here. Ant right there. Oh, find time to reload. Thanks. through here yet at all. I'm going to start in the main metro. I saw you. I got to keep a better eye on the ammo. Very inopportune reloads here. Stem packs. Lockers. Got some nectar. Thanks. Little one over there. Shoot him in the butt. Yeah, if we come in here, well, we find a lunch box. 32 rounds in the hollow tape, Grady's last recording, and what we can assume are the remains of Grady and his 32 pistol. So, Grady's last recording. I'm listening to this tape, and my brains are splattered all over a wall somewhere, and you've got a job to do. You need to retrieve the package and get it safely to Ronald Lauren and Gurner Shade. Tell them Grady sent you. Forget the package, you'll need the key. I've stashed it inside an old fire hose case in some maintenance closet at Marigold Metro Station. The key will unlock the safe that contains the package. Look for the room marked by a spinning light. You can't miss it. Good luck. And hopefully, they won't find you too. All right, a key and a fire hose box. Open something in a room with a spinning light. Take the Ronald Laren and Gerter Shade. All right, little sub quest going on there. Let's find our way into the tunnels.
pull the machine in there. Skunked in on the ground. Some caps. First aid box. Okay. There's an ammo box in the corner. Six rounds. Let me sell the Chinese assault rifle. We can patch ours up with and the side of the metro. Continues down. I'm going to take this side. Oh, I don't think we can take this side. You guys through this. There's one down around here. I see it on the pit boy. There it is. Oh, there's some gas down here. That's not good. We don't want to be there if we start throwing flames at us. Good. Nothing in that little corner. A locker. Nothing. Door. And down. Aha. Alright, here's the fire hose box. Grady safety. So, cherry bombs on the shelf. We'll have those. Psycho and a stim pack. And another easy lock to pick. Right. Easy on the bobby pins though. Darn. Okay. I'm gonna keep following this around. Down wherever it leads. Compass down here somewhere. Right there. Another one. There's a warrior too. Went down pretty easy. In any of those boxes. Row of lockers. Nope. More boxes. Be more money. Sensor module. We got a 
trinket on our compass. Okay, that there is a talk Wesco. So we're not gonna talk to him yet. We'll come back down in a moment. Let's go see if we can find uh, Brady's package. We're in a bad spot. <laughs> another one yeah yeah there you go more nectars a little bit of stuff here two frag mines on the side here we'll find the body of William Brandeis Take the key for his foot locker. Oh, I forgot to get whatever gun was behind the fridge in the place, too. Well, usually, nothing good or in great condition, so I think we'll live. You know, like a 32 pistol or a 10. Might see something kind of useful out of it. Okay. Let's see. I think they. Yeah, there's a room with the spinning light. Let's go and get Brady's package. Easy lock door, easy lock terminal. Hit the lock. There's the safe. And here, before doing all this, let's equip our railway rifle. For reasons. Use the key on the safe here. Pick up naughty nightwear. Speech plus ten, luck plus one. It's um pretty good. It's a good bonus to speech. We'll grab the rest of the stuff. As well as our first ripper. Definitely. But after grabbing the naughty nightwear out of the safe there. Uh, somebody's supposed to come yeah, walking in the room. I'm only gonna ask you this one time. Give me the naughty nightwear. And we can try the speech check. I'm keeping it, and I advise you to back off before I get angry. Wrong answer, dead meat. Oh well. Um, how about you pay me for it? I warned you I was only going to ask once. Now I'm going to take it from you. Nope. Um, yeah, the reason I pulled out the railway rifle, it's real easy to get a good shot at his head and pack it to the wall here, there, so a little bit of fun. So, sorry, Lugnut, we're keeping it. Take your hunting rifle, though. Get everything? Yeah, we're good here. Okay. Um, now we can go back and uh, find the wrong one. Still the wrong one. Go down and find Dr. Wesco. Be down over this way. Yeah. Till you startled me. You really mustn't creep up on people like that. Got some good responses here. Yeah. Hey, you're that egg. I mean, scientist the kid was talking about. Well, yes, I suppose I am. Uh, Dr. Weston Lesko's my name, and it's uh, good to make your acquaintance. Uh, what brings you to my little experimental ecosystem? You call this a laboratory? 
I've chosen this room as a temporary retreat from which to contemplate my erroneous figures for my experiments. It may be a bit dark and damp, but such annoyances will not stand in the way of science! Experiments? What do you mean? My experiments are of a complex nature and would take a scientist to explain... Oh wait! I'm a scientist! How marvelous! My foray into reducing the girth of these insectoid creatures is of utmost importance. I intend to generationally reduce their immense stature by way of a pre-birth-induced mutagen. Isn't that clever? Hmm. Our intelligence is fairly high, so we can use this line. Oh, I see. You're trying to make them smaller over time by injecting the eggs. My word! You understand perfectly! How marvelous! Okay, so, uh, what's gone wrong? Well... I'm afraid I've made slight miscalculations in the mutagen. Instead of lowering their size, the brood hatched with a new biomechanism. I call their genetic aberration pyrosis, the ability to emit flame from their bodies. I may be able to correct this error, but, but I can't get near my equipment. Another intelligence. I'm shocked you didn't attempt this in a controlled environment first. Your knowledge of experimental procedure surprises me. Indeed, I have skipped a step and directly modified an entire brood. Perhaps I was too hasty. I was so certain it would work. To correct this mistake, I'll need to get to my terminal to modify the mutagen. Okay, so what can I do to help? Since you've offered, allow me to elaborate. My portable terminal is set up in the hatchery chamber near the Ant Queen. If I can reach it, I can continue to work on improving the mutagen. Well, if the Queen's your concern, why not deal with it directly? If she were harmed in any way, months of data would be lost. Your objective would be to eliminate what I call her quintet of nest guardians. Filthy little abominations. And just how will this undo the mayhem you've caused? I've rigged the equipment at my portable terminal to emit what I call an inhibitor pulse. Once I send this pulse, all of the remaining ants will lose their empathic link with the queen and frenzy destroying each other in the process. So that's all there is to it. What do you say? All right. Now, for one of his rewards, it's important that you ask this line of dialogue. Otherwise, you don't get it. So, this is a hefty task, Doc. I'm going to need serious incentive. Yes, I suppose you're right. Science must learn to acquiesce to your standards in order to advance itself. I was merely going to offer up one of my mutagenic bio-enhancers, but I suppose I could up the ante. I will also award you with my old lab coat. It served me well over the years, and you may find it useful for your own experiments. Great, and a uh, mutagenic bio-what? I've managed to isolate some of the fire ant genes and distill them into human-safe genetic enhancers. I can inject you with one of these formulas and you'll find yourself with either enhanced strength or enhanced perception. Not only that, but you'll be somewhat more resistant to fire. How marvelous! Alright, well, if it'll stop the ants from burning down Great Itch, I'm in. You will? How marvelous! Be careful, my friend. The nest guardians can be quite tenacious. Anything else you can tell me about these fire ants? Well, the mutagen has enhanced their fortitude and provided them with what I call pyrosis, the ability to emit flame biologically. They're quite radiation-free, however. Well, as radiation-free as any other mutated creature in the wasteland. We can use our entomologist perk here, but he doesn't want the queen injured, so we don't have to. Um, how did you go from changing their size to breathing fire? Playing with genetic codes isn't simple. Do you realize one tiny tweak at any point in the last million years could have completely changed us? Going from attempting to change their size to generating their pyrosis ability is no surprise at all. Will anything special hurt the ants? 
I'm afraid they are not susceptible to anything I can think of that wouldn't harm the garden variety giant ant. Uh, just aim for their antennae if you can. It, it will confuse them quite a bit. And how the heck can an ant breathe fire? The stimulation of the subject's evolutionary trigger by the mutagen caused a biodefensive reaction metamorphosing the ant's venom glands. This process caused unexpected oscillations in the venom molecules at such a vast rate it produces a thermodynamic biochemical reaction. As the subject ejects the volatile solution, it becomes conflagrant due to new structures in its maw I call its calefaction array. Amazing, isn't it? Mm, very. And you know, we'll use this line. Ants exhibit class system behavior, so I'll try and kill the queen fast. Must I again remind you that the queen is to remain completely unharmed? If she's hurt or killed, there's no telling how long it would take me to find a suitable new subject. Just let me issue the inhibitor pulse and it will have a similar effect. Oh, okay. Let me ask you something else. Yes? And what do you know about Brian Wilkes? Far too curious. His incessant questioning would often come when I was the most absorbed with my calculations. He had no regard for the importance of my work. Don't you realize you've ruined his entire life? You have your ideals and I have mine. I'm down here to complete my experiments at any cost. If that means the loss of a few lives to save generations of lives in the future, it's a small price to pay. Well, can't you take responsibility for his father's death? All scientists take responsibility for their failures because it comes with the territory. I will take this experimentation to completion without roosting on the moral high ground. If I allow emotions to enter the mix, all this time and energy spent will have been for nothing. Well, you should have at least told him you were alive. He thought he was alone. I can't risk leaving this place. I have to continue monitoring the hatchery for any further mutations in the next brood. I have no time for children and their petty games. What do they know about the importance of my work? All right, something else? Yes. What's your experiments? Oh my, yes, they're quite marvelous. There are many that say it can't be done, but I'll prove them wrong. Yeah, something isn't right. You shouldn't have gotten results like these so quickly. Well, um, I may have used a few, uh, <clears throat> shortcuts, yes. I was told that the FEV works wonders when used under controlled circumstances. Apparently, I was wrong, but I know my mistake. I'm certain I can get it to work. And what's the goal of your experiments? By introducing my mutagen directly into an ant egg, I hope to reduce the size of the adults. This is a generational system, meaning it will take quite a few broods before the ants are at their destination size. In the end, I hope to make them as small as they were over 200 years ago. And how exactly can I destroy the mutagen? Destroy? Oh, no, no, no! You mustn't do that. It's my life's work. Just clear me a path to my equipment and I'll do the rest when you tell me it's safe. All right, go back. Yes? I guess we have to go now. Much to do, so much to do. Okay, okay. he's been... ...fading <laughs> ants with FEV virus. Not turned out so well. He doesn't really have much for taking in his lab here. Just aid box, more ammo. Yeah. Coal in that box. All right, let's go find these nest guardians. Go out the back of the lab, further down under the metro tunnels. Maybe under the Queen Ants Hatchery. Uh, 
that one. Yep, that's one. I'll leave these little refuse piles around. Unless they have me nothing, but sometimes like a pre war money. Perhaps a camo. Oh, a little too close. Sneak attack critical. Oh, yeah. No way, it's trying to reload the rifle. The same key. Maybe right around the corner here. A little further down. That is right around the corner. guys are pretty beefy. Still not bad, but a class above the warrior. Yeah, actually highlighted on the compasses quest objectives. And then easier to detect. Great care. Do one left now. There's the ant queen back in Wesco's protection. We could, if we wanted to, kill the queen and get some queen ant nectar. But again, that would be the easy way. There's still another ant queen out there we can go find. That's the one we're going after. Angela Staley down in Rivet City. Get your head back around here. There we go. Alright, that's all five of our nest guardians. So we can return back to Lesko. For that though, I'm gonna sneak into the Queen's Hatchery here. We'll see if we can do this without a stealth boy. Hopefully she won't notice. Even if she does attack it, we'll be alright. There are a couple little things here. By Lesko's terminal. A big book of science. We'll need to call the quantum. Another hunting rifle. Or it's gonna be some cash. Vision batteries. I think that's it. And if we wanted to, we could hack Lesko's terminal. And play around with his mutagens and formulas. So we don't need to bother wasting the time to do that. We'll do this the nice way. Let's go back and tell him everything's clear and he can go do his thing. Release his inhibitor pulse.
back into West Coast Laboratory. What? I've detected some changes within the Queen's hatchery with my equipment. What's transpired? Well, my work is done, Doctor. Oh, how marvelous. Please, tell me what happened. Come now, the faster you tell me, the faster I can provide promised payment for your services. Well, I've killed all the nest guardians. Then I will proceed to my portable terminal at once and make the necessary changes to the formula. Thanks very much for everything. You've been quite a useful lab assistant. Okay, well, I'm ready for my mutagenic bio-enhancer injection and lab coat, Doctor. How marvelous. Here is the promised lab coat. I'm certain you'll find it quite useful. Which injection did you want? Will it be the ant sight or ant might? All right, and yeah, we can get a point to strength or a point to perception. We'll take the point of perception, so ant sight, please. How marvelous. Ant sight it is. Hold still, please. Um, um, Doc? Well, there's the ant sight perk. You've been granted the perception and flame resistance of the Grey Ditch Fire Ants. Your perception has increased by one, and you are now 25% resistant to fire. Nice. Did we get the lab coat? Are we still in caution? I think that's from the Ant Queen. Still. That's weird. Look at the inventory. Arrow. Yeah, there. West Coast lab coat. Rad resistance plus 20, and a science plus 10. That's a pretty nice bit of gear to pick up. Just five more points of science than our vault lab uniform adds. And a little bit of rad resistance to boot. Yeah, so there's Let's Go. We're done. We can return to Brian Wilkes now. But not just yet. The other exit out of Marigold Station here leads off to Falls Church. And I kind of liked Falls Church. So next time... We'll head out that way and explore Falls Church before heading back to Grey Ditch and Brian Wilkes and officially completing the quest goes. For all intents and purposes, we are done though. We got the rewards we wanted. So yay, we'll leave off here in Lesko's lab. So until next time, thank you for watching and bye.